The market is a cycle, guys. And regardless of where we are in the cycle, it has nothing to do with your success or how many properties you're selling. Nothing to do with it. And if I can take what I've learned through being through many market cycles and read the writing on the wall and say, listen, this is what I see. This is what we should be thinking about. And this is what we should be doing. And every video, every podcast, every post, there's something in there that is saying, look, if you look closely and listen closely, there's something in there that you can pick up that is going to prepare you for what's coming, regardless of what it is, because it's just a cycle. You know, you can work till midnight every day. You can work till two in the clock in the morning every day you know I get up really early and I work out and I answer DMs and I kind of get my day started and I work as hard as I can till five and listen if I hadn't got it done by five I'm not gonna get it done you know no need to get in a hurry now right it's five o'clock so I really enjoy that five o'clock to ten o'clock with the family I try to bypass any weekends that I can to just spend with the family so I think it comes down to being present you know a lot of people that spend time with their family they they're not present they're thinking about work they're thinking about other things when they're with their family and um, and that's that can be devastating Um, you know that can grow a lot of resentment because they know that you're not present mentally you got to be there so I literally completely shut down my entire mind you know in terms of work and the after in the the evenings there's a lot of things as a new agent I mean your your schedule should always be make calls all morning 9 to 12 and then do all your marketing and training in the evenings that should be your routine now I'm not really focused on buyers or sellers you know I'm not really focused on one or the other I'm just focused on property owners they're the best buyers and they're the only sellers right listings allow you to leverage your time whereas you get a listing now you got the thousand agents in your market or how many agents are in your market trying to sell that listing you know while you're out there trying to create more business right you leverage yourself by getting listings if your property owner ends up being a buyer they're the best quality buyer they already know the game you don't have to educate them on property taxes, upkeep, maintenance, utilities, you know, closing costs. You don't have to educate them at all. It takes all that education part of the process out of the picture. Also, their uncertainty about what they want. A lot of first-time home buyers, they still kind of don't know exactly what they want, don't know what they can afford. Social media, you're looking at, you know, one, two, three, four, five, ten percent organic reach, okay? So let's build the foundation on our weekly email and stack social media on top of that. So be there for the webinar tomorrow. I pinned a comment there in the comments on YouTube.